In this video, we'll walk through a sample use case where XAuthor for Contracts Advanced is used during a simple negotiation or redlining process. So we're going to start off in Conga CLM for Salesforce here, and I've gone ahead and already generated the first draft of my contract for my sample MSA agreement record. And I've also already sent this out for review using our Office 365 review functionality. So if you can see the current review status has been completed with my reviewer, Diego Francis. So from within CLM, I've sent this document out via Office 365. Diego has received that request for review and has marked up the document in some way, and I've completed the review cycle. So now I have the original first draft of the document in addition to the 1.1 version, which contains Diego's red lines. Now that the other party has introduced red lines to the document, I'll be using XAuthor for Contracts Advanced to review those red lines and then interact directly with CLM to make sure that I'm accepting, rejecting, or modifying the document. And it's you know, going to be remaining in sync with our data within CLM. So I'll flip over to Microsoft Word and I'll make sure that I'm using the XAuthor for Contracts Advanced plugin and also make sure that I'm using the contracts page. I'll be working out of a contract and negotiating an existing agreement. So here I can look at my recently looked at agreements. I can also search for the agreement or if I have that 1.1 version document already, I can open that up within Microsoft Word and then connect to XAuthor for Contracts Advanced directly. From here, however, I can see some high level data around the sample MSA agreement, and then I can also see the current existing documents hierarchy that are related to this agreement. And the 1.1 version is the one that contains Diego's red lines. So that'll be the one that I'm targeting to open, which is essentially the checkout process here for X author for contracts advanced. Now that I've opened up the 1.1 version of this document, I can already begin to see the red lines that have been introduced by this other party, but I've also connected to the intelligence and the clause library of CLM via XAuthor. So while I'm not required to, I can still use the Microsoft Track Changes functionality to move through all of the changes that have been introduced to this document by either accepting or rejecting them to resolve those red lines but I can also use the reconciliation functionality within XAuthor for contracts to make sure that that data is updated within CLM. So for our example today, we're going to accept these changes that have been introduced to the affiliate clause today, updating it from 50 to 60%. And I also see a note here from Diego that he's looking for a governing law clause that this template does not include. So I'll make sure that I go to an appropriate spot in this document to insert a new clause. And then using the clause library, I can search for an appropriate clause to insert in. Keep in mind, this is accessing a pre-built out clause library that contains pre-approved legal language that I can now use to add into my document. I see that Diego's business, ABC Corporation, resides in California, so I'll add in the California Governing Law Clause as a smart clause so that I can track this moving forward. Some simple formatting, make sure that this is in line with the rest of the document, and I'm ready to move forward. In addition to accessing my clause library, I also have the ability while I'm on the work tab to take a look at the contents of this document. I can see here the smart clauses that have been added to this uh, MSA agreement. I can also see some information about these. So one of them is read only and locked out for any modification. And I do have some alternate clauses from my clause library for some of these down here at the bottom. In case there were any modifications to those, I could look at the available alternates and potentially swap out some fallback language that's been identified for some of these clauses. In addition to the clauses, I can also take a look at any of the fields that exist within the document as well. If I take a look at the three dots menu here, there's some additional functionality that's been collapsed down here, like updating these values from CLM, opening the, the record within CLM, using the compare functionality from within XAuthor to take a look at multiple different versions of this document, if there's been multiple rounds of negotiation that has completed, and many more. 
once I'm done reviewing this document and making any of the changes that I'm satisfied with, I'll move forward to the finish tab to check this document back in. Here I've got some options to identify how I'd like to move forward very commonly what the next stage of the process would be. If I wanted to retain red lines for additional internal review, if I wanted to resolve or remove red lines for additional external review, or if I'm ready to send this for signature, I can select the appropriate option here. One piece of functionality that I'll highlight as incredibly critical and a massive value add of XAuthor for Contracts Advance is the data reconciliation feature. By ensuring this checkbox is checked, we'll see that the data that we're accepting changes to here within the document are updated accurately and appropriately within our CLM record. Once I click on Save and Next, I'll have the ability to review the different data points that I'm going to be reconciling. There were no changes to any fields in this document, so none need to be reviewed here. However, there are changes to our clauses. We did accept a change here to our affiliate definition clause, and we've added a net new clause to this document, both of which are tracked here. Finally, upon selecting finish, this will complete the check-in process for this document, and a couple of things will happen. Since I selected the PDF option for this check-in, I'll be creating a pre-executed PDF version of this. I'll also be creating a new version of this document to make sure that all of that is intact, and I'll be updating this data within CLM as well. So if I flip back into the agreement record within CLM and refresh this page, I can flip over to my grid view for my agreement clauses, which I've deployed here on my CLM agreement record. And I can see those two clauses have been updated correctly here in relation to my agreement record. The affiliate definition, which is now non-standard, has been marked as modified. I can see the difference in the texts. And I've also tracked the fact that I have a net new clause here that has been inserted here in relation to the agreement record. All roads lead to the Conga customer community. Connect with peers, access exclusive resources, and stay ahead with the latest insights. Click the link in the video description to log in now and start exploring.